Wagwan everybody, welcome back to Dana's Delight JA. Today I am making for you a beef patty. And to make my beef patty, I will need some all-purpose flour which I have here. My turmeric and curry powder mixed together there. Some breadcrumbs. I have salt. You will need a rolling pin and film wrap. You'll need at least two sticks of butter to make your patty crust nice and flaky browning cooking oil soy sauce oyster sauce the oyster sauce is optional you need your ground beef as well which i seasoned overnight and i'm um, also adding to that some fresh seasoning which are my scotch bonnet pepper you can't have a beef patty without a nice hot scotch bonnet pepper in there some fresh thyme some scallion garlic and some onions so now we're ready to get started. Ensure that your hands are clean and you get a nice mixing bowl. So to make your beef patty, you will need a nice flaky crust. And to do so, I am using two cups of flour here. And then I am adding my turmeric and curry, which is mixed together. All right. Next, I am adding my salt. And I'm also adding a little granulated sugar, just enough to flavor, not too much because you don't want it to be too sweet. Then we're gonna mix all this in. Mix that in together. The curry smells nice. And just mix that in together. And you can just gradually add the remaining curry and turmeric just to see if you get the right color. If it's not the color that you like, you can add more if you wish. So we're just gonna mix that out. This is looking so nice. The color is really rich. You can see it. It should have a nice deep color like this. And I will just add my butter which I cut into smaller pieces and I am now going to crush it into the flour mm -hmm. that is coming on nice and I am just continuing to crush this until I get a breadcrumb like consistency a breadcrumb texture and that is coming on so nice All this can be done using a food processor, but if you don't have one like myself, you can just continue to use your fork. And crush all of that out. All right, so after we mash out all of the butter in the flour, see there people to see how this look nice look like a really nice breadcrumb this is what you want so after we do this now then we just add with cold water to it and this should be ice cold water really really cold water you see how this pretty uh, it look like a patty already yes look nice and you just take your time, add in your water. Yes, yes this coming on so lovely. See this nice rich pot. This looks like patty already. Alright. So you don't want it too soft and you don't want it too thick. Okay, so the next step is to get your cling wrap and then you get your dough that you just finished mix up and you just scrape it out in the cling wrap and we are going to put this on the refrigerator. So not wasting anything at all. Scrape out every ounce of it. Alright. And then 
You just roll it up into a ball like this. and put it on the refrigerator for 30 minutes to an hour no less than 30 minutes though while my dough is in the refrigerator i am going to work on my meat filling all right so i have my pot here just a regular frying pan with some cooking oil two tablespoons of cooking oil is good because you don't want to add too much oil to the pot because the beef is going to spring its own grease and to this under a low flame I am adding onion, kelion, garlic. Alright. Ensure that your flame is low because you don't want any burned vegetables. Next, I am adding my hot pepper. And then I'm adding my fresh thyme. I like to remove all the thyme from the stem. I don't leave any stem with my thyme. Right. And we just saute these for a short while, not long. Next, I am adding my seasoned minced beef. All right. And I pre-seasoned my minced beef with onion powder, garlic powder, Magic all purpose seasoning and black pepper. Okay. We just break that up and we will just cook this until it's no longer pink. You can see the beef changing color. So when your beef start to look like this, you can now add your browning and you can add your soy sauce. I am also adding a little oyster sauce. I'm just going to mix this in and let it cook for another three to five minutes see see that color coming out right now and this is a nice color Just about a quarter cup of water. And let that cook for about 10 to 12 minutes. Alright, so after that now, we just check on our meat. And as you can see, it has gathered some liquid. So, to get rid of the liquid, I am adding breadcrumbs. I am starting out with one tablespoon. And I will mix this in. And if I need more, I can always add it. The breadcrumbs absorbs all the liquid. Not all. Most of the liquid. As you can see, it has started already. Most of the liquid is gone. Also, people use the breadcrumbs to stretch it a little. One time this, they use the breadcrumb to stretch the meat. Yeah, to stretch the meat filling just a little. At this point, this is what a beef filling should look like. And I'm adding my finishing touches, a little black pepper. And nice it up with a little ketchup. I'm going to mix that in. Mix it in. Mm -hmm. Yes, smell nice of it. Give it a little taste. Mm -hmm. You want a little bit more salt. And I just sprinkle a little more salt. Remember, you're doing it to the amount of salt that you can manage. 
the amount of spice that you can manage. So cook it according to your taste. And this is ready. So I will just remove my filling from the heated pan because leaving it in the hot pan will continue to cook the meat and we don't want it to cook any further. And we will just set this aside. Alright, so there it is, my nice beef filling. I'm going to set that aside and let it cool off and go work on my dough again. Okay, so after almost an hour in the refrigerator, I have removed my dough. And people, that is the bottom part of the fridge, not the freezer, okay? We put the dough in the bottom part of the fridge, not the freezer. Alright, so you will need a hard surface. You will need a rolling pin like this. You will need a stick of butter. And this is cold butter, not room temperature butter. And you will need some flour. So as mentioned before, you need a hard surface. And I am going to sprinkle the surface with flour. And on top of it as well. Sprinkle your rolling pin with flour, even though it is wooden. Alright, and you just roll that out. Start the process. So roll out your dough. Sprinkle some more flour. While I am rolling my dough, I am adding some butter to it to make it a little flakier. Adding some extra butter. Extra butter mean extra flakiness. Put that aside. Fold that in. Add some more flour. And then we roll again. I know this may seem like a hard process, but trust me, it is not. Once you make your first batch of patty, you never stop. So the whole point right now is just to roll this flat and add butter at the same time. Roll it flat and add butter. See? See how it's pretty? Nice, nice, rich yellow color. Add my flour to that. See how that nice? Scrape in some more butter. Just add more butter and roll it out. Yeah. Fold that over again. And some more flour. So now that I have it down to this consistency, I am just going to finish rolling it out and I'm going to put it back on the refrigerator for another 30 minutes and then we will do the final process. Right? So this is looking quite like I want it to. The aim is just to get a nice flaky dough this is ready to be refrigerated mm -hmm. this look nice yes Too much flour on it. 
All right, so this ready to go back in the refrigerator for another 30 minutes and then we will just take the final steps and bake our patties. At this point, I am also going to preheat my oven at 375 degrees Fahrenheit, which I will be baking my patties for 25 minutes, 25 to 30 minutes. Right, so we'll just fold it up like that and just put it in a container. We'll just cling wrap this and put it in the refrigerator for another 30 minutes. So I'm just going to add my beef to a blender. I'm just going to pulse this. Oh, I'm going to add a little water to it, just a small amount, a very small amount of water like about that amount not a lot all right so i am just going to pulse it not blend it just a few pulses i am also making a little egg wash and egg wash is just egg and water and this is to brush the patties before i put them in the oven all right so now i am back with my dough after 30 minutes in the refrigerator this is what it looks like exactly how i want it to no want much flour on it I am just going to flatten this out and add my filling to it. Mm -hmm. Flatten it out. Not too thin though. Okay, people. Just like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah just like that just like that So I am using a 6 inch plate to get my patty shape. Hmm. Alright. See if I can get alright, I can get two first. But so far I get two shapes so far. So, I'm removing all of this dough. I'm going to put it aside and work on these two first. I have flattened one of the shape and I'm going to show you how I go about folding the patty. Okay, so only thing is left to do is to add the beef. We just add the beef. To one side of the dough and flatten it out okay and then I'll use some egg wash to brush around the area and the egg wash also helps to make the patty flaky and you will just fold it gently then you use your fingers to press around the edges press it out and this encloses the beef inside the dough then you get a fork and you make these nice little shapes 
all the way around this is how you get that nice look going all the way around the party next you use a knife or whatever cutting instrument you have just to shape the party and you do that gently to avoid messing it up all right and there you have it all right so i have now reached almost the end of my party journey i am just going to brush the patties with some egg wash as i mentioned before the egg wash helps to make the patties a little flakier and i'm just gonna brush these and put them in the oven bake them at 375 degrees fahrenheit for 25 to 30 minutes and as i have these on a greased baking sheet and here it is my version of jamaica's most favorite lunch idea the beef patty originally patties were made with beef but as time went by people started to use other meats and vegetables as filling you can even add cheese to it if you like the full recipe for my beef patty will be in the description below along with my instagram link Remember to subscribe to my channel, tap on the post notification bell, like, leave a comment and share. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.